Hi there. I just wanted to share a really quick, really simple neck strengthening exercise that I picked up from Trina Altman, who is a wonderful yoga and Pilates teacher in the States. And she was running a little unwreck your neck challenge on social media earlier this week. She shared this exercise as part of that challenge and um, I really liked it. So I thought I'd share it here with you. So very briefly, a little bit of context. I've talked about this elsewhere in, in on my social media and there's a, there's a video here uh, called A Wee Bit of Movement Science where I discuss this a little bit as well. But just very briefly, a lot of times we get the idea uh, that if a part of our body is stiff or tense or sore, we should stretch it. Sometimes that can be helpful, but in many cases, we are stiff, tight, sore, what have you, because we're actually weak in that area. And so our nervous system um, perceives that we don't have control over, over the movement of that part of the body, so it will, it will tense it up. It will kind of lock down, uh, or uh, the brain will output the sensation of pain as a protective mechanism, just to make sure we don't move too much in that area. So in this case, um, stretching isn't always the best way to go. Often strengthening, so giving your nervous system the message that you do have control over the movement of that part of your body is the way to increase mobility and reduce pain and stiffness. So here is one way you can do that uh, if you're experiencing any neck stiffness or tension or pain. Um, I've got a yoga block. You could use a ball, a book, um, almost anything really. I'm going to bring it to my forehead and I'm pressing the the block into my forehead, my forehead into the block. And then I'm just going to drop my chin towards the chest, but I'm continuing that pressure. And I'm going to be careful here not to round um, in the upper part of my back. So I'm just isolating this movement in the neck. And then I'm going to go the other way. Nice and slow, continuing the pressure here. And now here, I want to be careful not to do a back bend. So I'm going to keep my lower ribs down and I'm going to isolate this movement as much as I can in the neck. Ooh, my muscles can use some work here. Keep the ribs in. So nice and slow back and forth a couple of times. Um, and I got so excited by this exercise and the results I got. I found that after I did that, when I just hung my head towards my um, chest, like the, the mobility and ease I felt in that movement was much greater. So I have a lot of um, sort of side neck tension, so I thought maybe this would work for the side neck. Uh, and it did. So here's how you would do that. You'd put the block against your the side of your head. So again, I'm pressing. I'm going to keep my hands on my lower ribs because, again, I want to isolate this movement in the neck. I don't want my whole rib cage getting into it. Then I'm just going to bend to the side. Pressing. And again, providing some resistance. Going the other way. My elbow goes up, but my rib cage does not as best as I can manage. And back and forth a couple of times. Do both sides, and then it can be nice to just check how much ease is there in the, um, I call that lateral flexion and extension of the cervical spine. Okay, give it a shot. Let me know how it goes.